Hi friend, if you've just unboxed your remarkable paper pro or are thinking about diving into the world of digital note taking, you're in the right place. This incredible device has the potential to transform the way you capture ideas, organize your thoughts and even manage your day to day tasks. But with so many features, it can feel a bit overwhelming at first. So in this video, we'll explore the essentials of getting started with your remarkable Paper Pro. From setting it up and navigating its interface, explaining the settings available on the device, how to organize folders and files, how to import documents, to note taking and PDF annotation capabilities. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. And make sure to stick around until the very end where I will share some cool tips and tricks that will help you stay even more organized. Let's jump right in. Initial setup. Before you dive into note taking and organizing files, let's walk through the initial setup of your remarkable Paper Pro. When you first turn on the device, a few introductory screens explain the pen's charging and page refreshing. After this, Connect to Wi-Fi and the device will check for software updates. Then it prompts you to pair with a remarkable account, which I recommend setting up to unlock most features. Simply go to my.remarkable.com, click pair devices in the devices and apps section and enter the verification code shown on your remarkable. Once pairing is done, you can set a passcode, choose your writing hand and tap get started to reach the main screen interface of the remarkable Paper Pro. First up, the main menu. This is like your central hub. Here you will see all the files you have on your device, whether it's PDFs, notebooks or ebooks. At the bottom of this menu, there's a search icon to quickly look up files and a plus icon to create something new. You can start a new notebook, make a folder to keep things organized or quickly add a blank sheet for any on the go notes. In the top left corner, there's a little icon with three lines, which opens up the sidebar. This sidebar is super helpful for filtering what you want to see. For example, you can choose to see only your notebooks, PDFs or eBooks. Below that, there's a section for favorites. These are files you've marked as special or want easy access to. Next, there's an icon for tags. Tags let you organize files or even specific pages within files. So if you're working on multiple projects, tagging can keep things neat. Finally, there's an integrations icon where you can bring in files from Google Drive, Dropbox or OneDrive. At the very bottom of the sidebar, you will find the trash, guides with tutorials for the device and settings. Now let's talk about my files view. This is where all your files and folders live. You can sort them in different ways by when they were last opened, created or modified alphabetically by size or by page count. And if you prefer, you can switch from a grid view to a list view, depending on what's easiest for you to scan through. Your folder icons will always be at the top, making it easy to keep everything together. You can scroll up or down to find what you need within my files. When you select and hold a PDF or an ebook, you have a couple of options here. You can export it to your cloud integrations, add a tag, mark it as a favorite, duplicate it, rename it, send it by email, move it to a folder or delete it. Loads of control for organizing your documents. On any screen, you can swipe down or tap the top right corner where you see the battery icon to access a quick menu. This lets you adjust brightness, set up the screen share with your computer or turn airplane mode on or off. Let's now take a quick look at the settings menu. Here you will find some simple but essential options. In general settings, you can check or change the account linked to your device. Set the device language, pick your keyboard and handwriting conversion languages and even turn on flight mode, power off or restart your device. Next is Wi-Fi settings, where you can manage your Wi-Fi networks, followed by battery settings. Here you can set the device to go into auto sleep after 20 minutes of inactivity or power off completely after 12 hours. This can help preserve battery life. In storage settings, you can check your available space and make sure everything is synced to the cloud so you don't lose any of your notes or files. Then we have security settings where you can set a passcode 
manage your personal information, and enable a light sleep mode, which keeps your content visible even when the device is in sleep mode. Finally, there's accessibility settings. Here you can choose your preferred hand for writing, which is great for left-handed users like myself. And that's the interface. Once you get used to it, navigate around becomes super easy and you can really make this device work for you. Let's move on to the next section, writing and sketching. Whether you're taking notes or doodling, the tools here make it feel almost like writing on real paper. First, let's look at how to create a new notebook. Start by tapping the plus icon on the bottom of the main menu and then select notebook. From here, you can give your notebook a name, pick a cover and select a template. There are tons of templates to choose from like dots, lines, grids, even guitar chords and piano sheets. And here's a neat tip. The template you picked acts as a background layer, so you can choose to show or hide it anytime and even change it later if you want. Once you open your notebook, you will see a sidebar on the side of the screen. This sidebar is where all the main tools live and you can hide or show it whenever you like. Here's a quick rundown. Pen type selector to choose the tool you're writing or drawing with. Text and selection tools for adding type text, erasing parts of your work or selecting an area to copy or move it. Undo and redo icons for quick corrections. At the bottom, you will see options for page navigation, adding tags, managing layers, converting handwriting to text and notebook settings. In settings, you can also set your page to landscape or portrait mode. Search within the notebook or add a new page. Quick tip here, if you want to add a new page without going into the settings, just swipe from right to left on the screen to reveal the new page icon. Now onto using the marker, eraser and highlighter tools. To start writing, Select the pen you like. There are nine different pen types to choose from with options for line thickness and color, nine colors in total. Once you have your pen set up, it's just like writing on paper. And if you're using the marker plus, you can flip it over and use the other end as an eraser. Next, some basic gestures you will find super handy. For undo and redo, you can use the icons in the sidebar, but here's a trick. You can also tap with two fingers to undo or three fingers to redo, making it quick and easy while you're in the middle of taking notes. To zoom in, just pinch with two fingers and to navigate between pages, swipe left or right. If you want to close the document, swipe down from the top edge of the screen. And if you need to scroll through a longer page vertically, just swipe up or down. A couple of extra shortcuts for smoother navigation. Swipe down with two fingers from the top edge to open a drawer showing your recently used files. And to quickly browse through the pages of your notebook, swipe up with one finger from the bottom edge to bring up a scrolling bar. That's it for the basics of writing and sketching. With these tools, your Remarkable becomes a perfect digital notebook that's easy to work with and totally flexible. Advanced writing tools. Let's dive into some advanced writing tools on the Remarkable Paper Pro where things get really interesting. First, let's talk about layers. Layers are a powerful way to keep things organized, especially if you're working on a complex sketches or need to separate different parts of your notes. Here's how it works. Each layer acts as a separate level for what you're drawing or writing. For example, I have a triangle layer here where I've drawn a triangle. I can move this layer up or down, change its visibility or even delete it without affecting the other layers. Templates are also treated as layers, so you can choose to make them visible or hidden whenever you need. Another essential feature is handwriting to text conversion. This is super handy if you want to turn your handwritten notes into editable text. The best way to convert without losing your original handwriting is to go to the share icon on the sidebar and select convert to text. This creates a new page with your converted text while keeping your original handwriting intact. If you prefer, you can also use the select tool to highlight your text and convert it. But keep in mind, this will replace your handwriting with the digital text, meaning the original handwritten text will be lost. Before we jump to the next section, I just want to ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video. 
appreciate your support. Organizing your notes. Let's look at how to keep everything tidy and organize your notes on the Remarkable Paper Pro. First up, creating folders. Folders help you keep different notebooks and documents sorted by category, so you can always find what you need. To create a folder, tap the plus icon, select folder and name it. From there, just drag and drop your notes into the right folders. Another helpful feature is marking certain files as favorites. This is great for files you access often. Just tag them as a favorite and they will appear in your sidebar under favorites for quick access. You can also use tags to stay organized. Tags are perfect for when you want to filter and search through your notes. You can add multiple tags to a single file or to specify pages within a notebook, making it easy to pull up everything you need with just a few tabs. Now, once you've got everything organized, you may want to export your notes. There are a few ways to do this. You can send a single notebook by email. Just go to the share icon, select send by email and type in the recipient's email address. You can also export multiple notebooks to your cloud integrations like Google Drive, Dropbox or OneDrive if you have those set up. Another option is through the Remarkable Cloud service, which allows you to sync notes across your mobile device or computer using the Remarkable app. Just remember that without the Connect subscription, your notes will only sync with the cloud for the first 50 days after the initial upload. After that, any updates to your notes won't be synced back to the cloud. So with folders, favorites, tags and exporting options, organizing your notes becomes super easy, letting you focus more on capturing ideas and less on searching for them. This device makes it really convenient to read and mark up PDFs and eBooks but there are a few steps to importing them, so let's go through those first. One easy way is through the Remarkable Desktop or mobile app. You just drag and drop PDFs or EPUBs into the app and they will sync to your device in seconds. Another way is through the cloud integrations with Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. Once connected, you can import files directly from your cloud storage. If you're using a PC or laptop, there's a unique way to transfer files. Instead of showing up as a hard drive, the Remarkable requires you to enter its IP address in your browser to access and transfer files. It's a bit unusual, but it does work. You can also import files by logging into your Remarkable account through a web browser. Just drag and drop files here and they will sync right into over to your device. And if you like saving web articles to read later, Remarkable offers a Chrome extension that lets you send content directly to your tablet. Once paired with your Remarkable account, it's surprisingly easy to use. Now let's get into annotating your PDFs. You can write directly on the PDF and if you want to highlight, the highlighter tool shapes perfectly to the text, making it really easy to stay precise. To adjust the view, you can choose to fit the page by height or width, whichever suits you better. And if you're finding the text hard to read, there's a contrast filter you can apply to improve readability. For those who prefer working in landscape mode, Remarkable lets you rotate the PDF, which is handy if you're reviewing wide documents or tables. There are a couple of limitations to keep in mind though. For example, you can't select and copy text from a PDF to paste into another document, which would be useful for those working on research or study notes. Also, there's no split screen option for viewing multiple documents side by side, so switching between files can feel a bit clunky. Alright, let's dive into syncing across devices with your remarkable Paper Pro. This is especially handy if you're someone who likes to switch between your tablet, phone and computer while working on your notes and documents. First, let's talk about setting up the mobile and desktop apps. It's super simple. On Android, just head to the Play Store, download the Remarkable app and log in with your Remarkable account. The app has a very similar layout to the tablet itself, so navigating around is really intuitive. If you're on a Mac, you can download the Remarkable desktop app from the App Store. Once installed, you will have instant access to your notes and files on your computer. Now, as for how syncing works, you can access all the files you've saved on Remarkable across your devices as long as they're synced with the Remarkable Cloud. This includes PDFs, notebooks and eBooks. 
The app and desktop versions give you quick access to all your files and any changes you make on one device will update on the others within seconds. Let's wrap up with a couple of quick tips and tricks to make your experience even smoother. If you're interested in more tips, I actually have a full video dedicated to tips and tricks for the Remarkable Paper Pro and I will link that in the description below. Here's a sneak peek at two useful ones. Tip 1. Adding margins for PDF notes. This is perfect if you like jotting quick notes on your PDFs. Simply use two fingers to swipe from the left, right or bottom edge of the screen and it will create a margin on the side where you can add your notes. It's super handy and keeps everything organized right next to the main text. Tip 2. Tracing designs. If you're into design or sketching, you can place a sheet of paper with a reference image on top of the screen and trace it directly onto the Remarkable. Your strokes will transfer through, letting you replicate designs or shapes without hassle. And one quick troubleshooting tip. If your devices ever get unresponsive, you can try a soft reset. Just press and hold the power button for 30-40 seconds and it should restart itself. If you want more on resets, I have a full video covering all types of resets and you can find that link in the description too. Conclusions and final thoughts. As we wrap up, I want to highlight what makes the Remarkable Pro truly unique and user-friendly, especially for beginners. In my opinion, it's combination of a paper-like writing experience, intuitive interface and powerful note-taking features sets it apart from other devices. It feels like you're writing on real paper, which is something I really appreciate when jotting down my thoughts or sketching ideas. If you're eager to learn more, I highly recommend checking out the Remarkable community and their support pages. There's a wealth of information available that can help you dive deeper into all the features this device has to offer. As you get comfortable with the basics, don't hesitate to explore the more advanced features. I've made a video comparing note-taking on the Remarkable Paper Pro to traditional paper, including some office and classroom simulations to test its performance in those scenarios. You can find that video link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I've spent a lot of time preparing this content to help you make the most out of your Remarkable Pro and your support really means the world to me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!